What's up guys, this is Shona and today we're going to check out South Place 2 in Tropicana Metro Park. Let's go! We are here again in Tropicana Metro Park and we have been here several times already since the starting point. We also checked out South Place before, the first one next to it. So for those owners who bought, right, very exciting times. And it's just exciting to see the development is taking place plot by plot of land in accordance to their master plan. And let's just go refresh ourselves in terms of the township. In total, Tropicana Metro Park is 88 acres of freehold land. And there will be two main connections, one via the Federal Highway coming in and most of them are already built halfway just waiting for the existing building here to be completed so they can join them together this will be the main pathway in we also checked out this project south place where it's a mixed development so this is an extension of this project actually which is south place 2 so in terms of typology it's going to look pretty similar and this faces the main road in. So the second road that comes in is via USG. And something will actually take note, uh, the surrounding area here, it's a mixture of components where you have residential, you will have high-end residential. And this is actually Subang High Technology Park, where you can see a lot of kilang kilang around the areas. That was something that a lot of earlier buyers was particular about, but if you see the centerpiece, the lake all together, then you will feel the difference. So as mentioned, this is South Place 2. And this is the residential tower. In total, there will be one. Uh, five, five, three units all together on a freehold land. And it's a mixed development. So it means that there are retail components at the bottom. And it's spread across 4.4 acres. So there will be several main entrances into the project, which I like. When you come in straight away from Federal Highway, there will be a direct access from this road itself, turning in. So from here, you can either go straight into the basement car park, or you can actually turn left. So you will have the shop drop off for the commercial area and you also have the residential lobby. And after you drop off them and you drive behind then this will be the residence in and out. But for visitors of the commercial area then you will have a separate one altogether. So this comes the first concern of that shared access. So the concern here is that if the commercial lots here were to be very very prosperous right, the problem will be congestion for residents to come back home. When everyone double parks in the front just to pick up their kids or to tapau things or whatsoever, right? As a resident, I need to actually wait for them to clear before I can go back to my elevated car park. So that's one concern. The other way to go in will be then via this junction if you're coming from USJ direction, right? Turning into Metro Park, there will be a turn directly accessing in. There will be access via two directions so far. This will be the experience of ground floor for the building. So just now as we come in from the Federal Highway, the main road, right? You can directly go into the car park area and there will be one basement car park. And it's interconnected to phase one actually. So that's great. At this level, what you will see in total, there will be 74 units of retail altogether. And just now from the drop off, there will be direct entrance into the internal shops and it's a two-story retail altogether. At second story, then there will be a direct link bridge over to phase one. Again, very exciting. Then this will be the residence drop-off. So when you come in here, this will be a stand-alone structure where you have the leaf lobby in the back. So this is a very open type of residents before you go in right there will still be visitors from the retails and shop lot then this will be level two itself and in the future right this will be the residence lobby and there will be direct access into the retail area directly and here then you will be the same level as the green park all together so here you can have an alternative access out so at the front here automatically they will leverage on the frontage to the park this will be all the fmb outlets and the format of the ramp upwards will be using this circular ramp up into the elevator car park and from the lobby going upwards then at level 8 this will be the facilities deck and what catch the eyes of course the mini futsal court and the half basketball court so this will be like a buffer between phase one itself you have the infinity pool facing the lake i like it because 
that's the only sensible orientation you will have the kids pool here this will be the kids indoor playground and all kids friendly facilities will be at this side oh and what's cool is at level 38 there will be a sky gym and within one floor itself there will be 19 units in total sharing five lifts so in terms of orientation is north south so this will be the premium one as they are north south facing this will be east and west uh, the corridors are actually double loaded and you will have voids in between and it's also open at the end these units will be very very exciting because they have direct frontage to the park also openings to the site mm. The unit that we're going to check out today will be type C for 1105 square feet and it's a four bedroom unit uh, a very rare typology within this address itself and when we come in this is going to be fabulous look at this opening right anyway you will have the kitchen tucked at the side and you will have a dedicated wet area also the yard space and that connects to the dining and living and this will be the corner units where you will have the balcony facing the park so that's going to be super mesmerizing right in front you will have a bedroom i think this will be the home assistance bedroom going in then you will have a corridor connecting three bedrooms together all sharing the facade line and you will have a common bath here for the master bedroom then you will have the master bath So coming in from the corridor right you will have a step up into the foyer itself and it's 1.5 meters wide and that leaves some space for you to put in your shelf or cabinet then going into the space this will be the unit and the size of the door they provide it's a one meter door so the clearance was 997 mm that's convenient for moving stuff in and out and coming in then you will have the access to the first bedroom at the corner you will have this empty area here where there's a lot of potential to it at the side then this will be the kitchen space the breakfast counter so the width here is 1.76 meters and the length of the top right is actually 2.7 very comfortable and here you have your top and bottom cabinets then you will have the backsplash all your switches here right provided by schneider nice then this will be a four burner and at this length i think it's very functional because you get to put a lot of things right when you work this will be the location of the basin and right opposite that will be the fridge so you will have a small window connecting into the yard space and this is huge so the size of this room is 2.3 meters by 1.7 and that is massive for a yard space where not only you can fit in the dryer and washer here you can even do a counter to be your laundry area right opposite this can be an extension of your wet kitchen and look at the opening that they are providing for the yard space itself so it's going to be very ventilated and this can perfectly partition out the smell from the main unit and i can only imagine if this is converted into a glass door right Whew. Coming up from the kitchen then this will be the main space for the family to hang out where you have your dining and living and a unique point for this is the balcony is not attached to the living space but to the dining space itself due to the typology where the main view is actually this direction lah. So the wall to wall width here is 3.5 meters and the ceiling height is around 3 meters and this space itself is going to be very very bright because you will have openings on both sides and for this freehold unit the current selling price is going to be around 880 over thousand and this will be the premium unit where on one side you will get to have a view here right so this will be the window size it's huge and then on the other side then you will have the balcony next to your dining space the dining space has never felt this wonderful before and just imagine right having the backdrop of the park when you eat okay so let's check out the balcony space 
So the width of the balcony is around 3.6 meters and the width of it is around 900 mm. Then you will have uh, steel handrails open to the view itself and this is going to be pretty amazing looking outwards or just to hang out during the evening because this is actually facing east. So it's going to be pretty cooling for you to enjoy the view of people running around and that was the main selling point for this overall township itself. If you just look around all the projects being launched right now, very rare within PJ within Subang Shah Alam region you will have a concept like this where the township actually has a lake a 9.2 acre lake as well designed with levelings and curbs and sitting areas and jogging paths and bicycle lanes and kids friendly things this will then dictate the lifestyle of residents that live around this location so far we have seen Pandora, Paloma, Paisley all almost 100% sold and South Lakes 1 also sold really really well and it's going to be handed over very 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 soon so I'm personally very very excited to see the completion of the first commercial component within this setting itself because now they have confirmed that Mercato which is the grocer has agreed to come in okay then right next to the balcony then you will have this uh, aircon latch and I think I don't know why but it looks massive lah. and something to highlight also this sliding door feels way bigger so it's an eight feet one conventionally it's always seven feet but yeah, they are trying to leverage to bring in as much daylight as possible. Good move. Moving on, let's check out the first bedroom here. So if you have a helper at home, this will be where she stays. If not, this can easily be converted into a workspace like this. This is the only room that does not share the facade line. So in terms of daylight quality, it's not going to be as nice. <laughs> However, in terms of size, it's 2.45 meters by 2.3 uh, you can perfectly fit in a single bed but as a workspace then it's actually very very sufficient right plus you have a window connected to the void and for flooring they are providing laminated timber flooring with timber skirtings for the external part they're providing floor tiles uh, 600 by 600 floor tiles and let's head on to the bedroom but something about this space that's very unique right so this takes away the claustrophobic feeling of the corridor imagine if the corridor were to extend all the way here it's going to be a very long walk back to the room well that's a choice also if you want to partition up but leaving it open like that it can be a book rack a reading corner it can be a play area for the kids it can even be your workstation or a workout space or whatever lah. so i kind of enjoy this opening itself because suddenly it feels very very spacious so coming into the first bedroom, uh, 2.85 by 2.6 will be the area and here you can perfectly fit in a queen size bed then you have a bedside table here the wardrobe will be on this side similar treatments for flooring laminated timber floorings and after putting in the bed you will still have sufficient circulation and this will be the window panel facing to the facade so this is nice and that's one main feature for this unit itself because you will have all the bedrooms attached to the facade line so all of them will have sufficient daylighting and ventilation because look at the second bedroom right now right you look at this so the window is very big and the size for this one is then slightly bigger it's 2.9 by 2.8 meters here you can also put in a queen size bed bedside table with the wardrobe space but here the circulations space feels bigger and all these are id treatments yeah so just be informed so when you do come and check out the project right please do check with the salesperson on the ongoing promotion for the finishes coming outwards then this room feels a little bit more private compared to this one because this one you will have direct visibility and access to the public area but it's not as bad lah. and here will be the location for the switches so they will be providing schneider and this will be the common shared bathroom here you will have wc by sorrento basin by sorrento also the shower along with shower screen full height wall house with a compartment for you to put your shower stuff and a window that is frosted here then you will have a top you put your things there's actually a ramp in the change of levels but how i wish this could be adopted around this edge as well and around the entrance outside as well last but not least this will be the principal bedroom whoa this is huge Wall width is around 2.9 and the length is actually 4.1 meters 
So it's a very sizable bedroom altogether. After you put in the king size, you can still put in bedside tables at both sides along with that huge window panel, right? Oof. And there will be an ensuite bathroom attached to this room as well. So here you will have the basin by Sorrento, WC by Sorrento, shower screens, the same gradient treatment for the drop, full height wall tiles. You have the water heater, then you will have the window on this side along with the counter. Nice. And the direction for this project is also different. We have in total of 13 variables of floor layout to pick from. For the smallest of 583 square feet, one bader, up to 1000 plus square feet, four bedroom units. You can pick anything you want because the previous phase will be more of the smaller units and I'm glad that they are different. And I guess that's all for the show you need. Let's go to site. So this will be from Jalan Technology Subang, right? And when you come in, this will be the main turning into the master plan. Just look into the landscape treatments. These are here for very, very long already. You can see all trees are matured. And this will be the upcoming south place. So you can see that the retail is almost up. So now it's left the infrastructure. Very, very exciting as this will be truly walking distance into the urban park. And just imagine having your coffee here, chill out here, right? Ooh. And to me, this is the best part about being in this site where the entire infrastructure design is very, very well thought through. So the connection from the building over, of course, these are the not so prime one already because all the prime one has been launched where they have direct connection into the park itself. So from the residents, right, via the elevated car park, they will have direct connection into the park. And that has been the main selling point for the entire stretch of residential products here. For South Place 1 and 2, then you will be divided via a road, but I guess it's still fine. Just look at the entire infrastructure, right? The width is amazing where you can accommodate a bicycle pathway and a jogging pathway. At the same time, you will have tech tiles. For safety purposes, you will have the landscape buffer and they have bushidas here. So their leaves actually grows horizontally. So in eye level, you can still have visibility, but they still provide shade. Wonderful choice. Then cascading now towards the lake, you will have the very gentle slope. So you can even walk downwards and play among the creeks, right? When it's raining, there will be frogs or tadpoles. So absolutely friendly for kids and you will have the willow to kind of give you that feeling. And we are now right in front of the site. So you can see that they have already start work and we can really see the difference in level right now. So at ground floor, connecting to the lake is actually one floor higher connecting to the roads on the other side and you can see this will be the connecting link bridge in the future via level once whatever existing tenants that signed agreement here will be beneficial to the residents at phase two as well and this part will be the main area where families will hang out and jog around during the evenings and weekends and this will be the same pathway if your kid were to be enrolled within 3KDU itself so it's just a walking distance away and downstairs you will have retail for your convenience and just imagine the bookstore is there cafe is there restaurant is there hairdressing there facial there wow nice right and i guess that's all for the project it's now time for sean's take three on three for the first three things i like number one will be the address of subang jaya and we have documented this project this site since its inception right the very start when we have pandora only it has been a huge debate whether can this be considered as subang jaya or not but looking at it phase one phase two phase three almost 99 percent sold out with a few new blocks that came out also the accessibility to this site has also improved drastically from the federal highway and via usj so if you were to work around taipan area if you were to work around subang jaya Glen mary sunway Shah alam right this is a nice location where you are close to those addresses that is packed with commercial, packed with malls, offices and etc. But you are a slight distance away from it. Because literally, it's just one road away from Subang Jaya. La. The second thing I like, of course, will be the master plan itself. This 9.2 acre central park is a true luxury. And they have completed this first before the entire township itself. Especially like eight years later, right? All the trees are merged now and you can really see the main 
maintenance that they have put in. This directly forms the options of lifestyle for residents here. So for residents who stays around here, most of the time they are just attracted to the park where they have the option to work out in the gym or to actually jog around the park. Evening strolls will be amazing and here, although you are located next to the highway or whatsoever, right, you don't really feel it because of the density of trees within the park itself. And just to think about the project that has the elements of convenience, which is the commercial part of it. By the way, South Place is the very first place that has the commercial elements within this township itself. So imagine if that is completed, right? Technically, residents don't have to really leave this area anymore. You can stay from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday only you leave the township. There are not many projects with such intimate relationship to a natural park where you can just open the door, ta-da! And last of all will be the unit layout itself. Usually we will have the living space with the balcony, but this one is attached to the dining because you will have dual front openings at both sides. You get to enjoy the facade of both sides, which is very, very rare. The living and dining space is going to feel amazing. And three main bedrooms all share the facade line. And I like that they have this center little space that takes away the sense of claustrophobicness to the common corridor. Imagine if that's a corridor, right? It's going to be a very long corridor from the dining to the principal bedroom. However, for the three things that I don't like, number one, in terms of site condition, please take note that this is next to the technology park of Subang where you have all the factory factories and you have the TMB substation in front. But South Place 2 is not going to face that problem. It's not immediately next to it, so I think it's fine. Also, right in front of South Place 2, you will have all residential properties. The entire site, right, is a mixture of things. So, there's just something to take note right now. Also, part of it will be the upcoming development around the empty land that's remaining. We are just not too sure will there be more residents or commercial areas or malls or whatsoever. I'm not too sure. But what's nice is that the very first commercial component within the township is almost ready for handover. Because if the retail here do extremely well, that will be considered within the planning in the future. Mm. The second thing will be the mixed development component. So right in front of us will be phase one, right? So the best case scenario for South Place 2, where you have the commercial lots in the bottom, right? The best case scenario will be somewhat like Tropicana Avenue itself. So it's very successful. It's packed all the time. We have a lot of people using the space as offices and people come and hang out for F&Bs. And it's just prosperous lah. However, there's also the bad side where the business might not be as good. So we are just not too sure about that. So that will be the uncertainty part of the residents where the success of it actually is highly correlated to the success of the commercial area. And that leads to point number three as well. Because of the architecture that has the shared access between the residential component and the commercial component. If, let's say, this project were to be a big success, the retail lot, right, is busy. Everyone just comes here, especially after school hours where the parents will pick up their kids. Everyone will just hang out here for their tuition, for playtime or whatsoever, right? Residents will have a tough time accessing the entrance to the elevated car park because it's actually shared. And just imagine if the front is all the cafes and restaurants where people pick up their kids or whatsoever, it's going to be a congestion. But somewhat, I hope that's the case for the project also. It's a prosperity problem. Also from a pedestrian point of view, because the lobby is located within the retail itself, so it's somewhat like a retail among the retail lots where you will have visitors walking in front when you access the lobby. Of course, there will be security measures from the ground floor and the first floor, right? The privacy is not going to be comparable to the full residential project. So sometimes when you come out from your uni and if the place is prosperous, you will see your friend when you come out from your residence lobby. <laughs> yeah. And I guess that's all for this project. Do I like this project? I actually look forward to it because if the theory is right, then these units right, is going to be pretty amazing because it's a setting that is very rare within proximity. Not many townships, right, gives you the option to directly access into a park. So I actually can't wait for the project to be completed. And I guess that's all for today. If you really like this episode, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Shantan. Ciao.